shorts and reels are very popular nowadays and when you are watching a shorts you may have seen the subtitle and caption animation beneath the video right so today we are going to learn how you can make this kind of caption effect or subtitle effect inside adobe premiere pro so without wasting any more time let's get started i have imported one of my previous video here to demonstrate the process you can use any ratio you want if you want you can use 16 by 9 or uh, 9 is to 16 whatever it is it doesn't matter first let's see how you can work on a 16 by 9 ratio video file right so here is the video file if you want to make subtitle animation or caption animation you need to use the latest adobe premiere pro there you will get auto transcribe feature and using the transcribe feature you can automatically transcribe the video and if i play it back if you watch video on youtube then there is 99 percent possibility you have so first i need to transcribe the video if i want to transcribe any video i need to go to window and here i'll see text option right you have to enable this option if you click here then text panel will appear so here if you want to make a caption you can just click on create captions from transcribe or you can go to here and then you can click transcribe it will automatically transcribe your video and then you'll be able to make caption out of this transcription it will take little bit time depending on the video duration of your so here my transcription have been completed now i can just click here on this three dot and there i can make create caption or you can go to here and then you can click create caption from transcription whatever you want you can do that so i will just go here on the transcribed option and then click there and then if i click here create captions then i can make a caption out of this transcription just keep caption preset from the default option and then go to format and there you have to change maximum length in character i'll just keep it 12 make sure you keep it between 12 to 15 and then minimum duration in second i'll just keep it 1.5 and then i'll select line single these settings are very crucial make sure you have selected the settings precisely and then create captions it will make caption out of your transcription so if i just play it back i can see whatever i have said and then if there is any mistake you can correct it from here otherwise if you correct it later then it will take a little bit more time so i'll suggest you to correct the caption from here right if you watch video on youtube then there is 99 percent possibility you have seen earlier so here is a mistake i'll just correct it so here i have corrected the wrong spelling now we have to format the text whatever font you want to use whatever color you want to use you can select it from here right so go to essential graphics panel if you don't see go to window and there you'll see essential graphics this panel if you click here this panel will appear then go to edit and from here you can select any font that you want i'll just select maybe helvetica new so this is the font that i'm going to use then you can increase the font i'll just keep it maybe this much then you have to select this one center align text and then zone select the center zone and there you can select the color just click here then you can use solid color i'll just use linear gradient and from here you can select a color i'll just keep it yellow to make the text pop out from the video and then here i'll just select another one maybe the orange one so that is my color i'll just increase the size a little bit more and there i can add some stroke i'll just make a black stroke and here you can add shadow i'll just decrease this one and then i'll just change this one maybe then blur it a little bit then you can change the opacity maybe this much very subtle shadow right so this is our formatting now if you want to apply this text formatting here on this text also you have to select the one that you have changed then go to here essential graphics and there you'll see track style and from here you can create style just click here then give it a name maybe i'll just keep it jp now click on ok the formatting that you have changed will be applied throughout this caption right you can see all of the text have the same text style and color now the problem is you cannot apply any kind of animation on top of your subtitle track that is why we need to upgrade this subtitle track into graphic layer so how you can do that you can select all the subtitles or you can just press a on your keyboard then 
press shift and then click to select all the subtitles then go to graphics and titles and there you'll see upgrade caption to graphic just click here it will change from subtitle track to essential graphics layer right so now we will be able to apply any kind of animations now what kind of animation we are going to make first let's make a glowing type animation first right so select the first one and then go to effects panel if you don't see effects panel then go to window and there you will see effects just enable that and there you will see the effects panel and here go to your video effects and there you will see generate and here just click lens flare click and drag it on top of your first essential graphics layer then release it then go to effects control panel if you don't see go to window then effects control and here you will see lens flare effect that we have applied now you can change the lens flare to make an animation so i'll just change the value maybe this much and there i'll change the position there and i will change that lens center just click here to add a keyframe and then press on your right arrow key four times to go four frame forward one two three four and there you can just change this option to reveal the text just like that so this is a flare reveal if i play it back if you watch very very subtle animation but when you are applying the animation on top of all text it will look very cool so again let's smooth this one right click here and then temporal interpolation is in and again here i can select is in then click on this arrow you can just click and drag this section a little bit to make it smoother now let's apply this animation on top of your all text so how you can do that you have to make a preset first so just select the lens flare right click then say preset i can just name it flare and then click anchor to in point and then click ok if you go to preset section you will see here is the flare preset that we have made now you have to select all the text and before doing that you can just delete this one we don't need this one now and from here select track forward tool and then press shift to select a single track click to select all the text layer then click and drag this flare animation preset that we have made and release it now if you play it back you see in the animation has been applied if you watch video on youtube then there is 99 percent possibility you have seen ali abdul's video and there he used a lot of it's looking cool but the sync is not perfect so we need to offset the position of our text right so how you can do that select all the layer then right click and then click nest okay then you can bring this text nested layer few frames forward right just press ctrl or command on your keyboard then press your left arrow key one two three now if i play the paper folding effect for his video and shorts today we're going to learn it is perfectly in sync right if you want to change the position then you can just click and drag it to change the position wherever you want to place it so now if i play it back if you watch video on youtube then there is 99 percent possibility you have seen ali abdul's video and so it is looking pretty cool right also you can apply this animation on any vertical video very easily just follow the process that i have showed you and after converting it to a graphic layer select all the layers then go to your effects panel click and drag the flare here and then if you play it back the folding paper effect right and before doing the caption have been done right select all the text and then right click click nest to nest it and then you can change the position if you want to keep the text at the bottom section you can go here on your effects control panel and change the position maybe here right if i play that back, we need to attach this paper it is looking cool but one good news is i have made a pack of 10 presets for you so that you can use on your video clip so let's see what kind of animation we're getting this one is mock text effect let's see fall text effect this one is fireworks what about magnet text effect pop up text effect let's see the pulsing text effect well another one pulsing two text effect smooth reveal text effect speed reveal text effect and the last one is throwing back text effect so here is the page i will just put a link in the description below you can go to here on this page and you can just download it by paying five dollars 
to support my channel just click on add to cart or buy now then you can purchase this pack after purchasing you will get the download link and download the file after downloading it how you can apply it right here you can see we have applied the clear animation that we have made let's remove that animation select all the track then right click go to remove attributes i'll just remove that effect okay let's import that preset that i have made right go to your fx panel right click here and go to import preset and there where you have downloaded the file select the file which is jp caption text effect dot set click here and then click open it will add a folder here on your fx panel under preset you will see jp caption and text effect and here you will see 10 different preset that you can use for a video select all the clips and then you can apply very easily suppose i want to use the block one right i can use it if i play it back if you watch video on youtube then there is 99 here is it and then if i want to use the other one which is fallen let's see how does it look now if i play it back if you watch video on youtube then there is a fallen kind of animation possible. again let's use another one which is fireworks so if i play it back if you watch video on youtube then there is 99 percent again let's see how does this magnet look in possibility you have seen ali abdul's video and and let's see how does the pop-up look there he used a lot of paper folding i really like this, this effect very shorts. subtle effect but Today it's look cool how can again let's see how the pulsing effect look let's select the track and then click and drag the pulsing one there is it this kind of and the flare one is pulsing too which we have made earlier just click and drag it here to see how does it look paper folding effect in adobe premiere pro i also look this one too the smooth reveal this one is pretty subtle animation but i hope you will like it i played back video and there he used a lot of paper. and next one which is speed reveal click and drag it ability you have seen Ali Abdul's video and there he is and lastly let's see how the throwing back looks it's a lot of paper folding effect for his video. so after applying any kind of effect just nest it select all the clips then right click and click nest okay then you can just go to your effects control panel then place it here in the middle maybe bottom middle right so if i play it back if you watch video on youtube then there is 99 it also looks so cool right so that's it that is how you can make subtitle animation in adobe premiere pro if you want to purchase the pack i have shown you you can download it from the link in the description below you can go to my purchase website and there you will find that pack you can download it from here it will mean a lot if you purchase it and use it it will support this channel i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one you can give me a thumbs up if you need this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing then subscribe to this channel to get more awesome videos just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye